Hey guys, Val Nichols here coming at you live from beautiful Central Oregon. And guys, I am lit up today. Oh my gosh. So many amazing things happening here in the world of Val Nichols coaching. Um, yeah, planning a trip to Australia in April that is going to be amazing. I'm going to be talking more about that with Dr. Martha Nessler, my friend, my amazing, loving, wonderful friend who is going to be going on that cruise with me. So I would love to talk to you guys about that if you're interested. Um, we are going to be setting sail in April and you have about one month to secure your spot because customs is going to need to know. Plus, guys, we also have our mastermind, which is open right now and so fired up for that. We are going to be um, running our mastermind for eight months. So through the month of November, and it is going to be freaking amazing. If you are a woman who is fired up, lit up, you are ready to make this your year, then jump in because I'm going to be teaching you all the things. There's going to be hot seat coaching and it is at a fraction of the cost that it is to work with me one-on-one. -on -one. So um, yeah, that's going to be amazing. So if you're interested, let me know. And I want to talk to you guys about vision because this is something I am so freaking fired up about is your vision for 2020. You know, like what is your vision? I would love to know comment below when you jump on, um, say hi. So I know that you're here and let me know where you're watching from because Facebook does not always tell me who's on. I see that there's people on, but I can't see, um, who it is. So let me know you're here so I can say hi. And I want to talk to you guys about vision. So for those of you who don't know, I wear contacts and, um, I don't wear my glasses a lot during the day, which is really odd. I should, but you guys, if I did not have my contacts in right now, like literally I would not even be able to see the screen and see that who's on and who is here. Hey, Lauren. Hey, girl. Hey. Oh my gosh. So excited that you're here. I feel like it's been forever since I've seen you personally live. So if I didn't have my contacts in right now, I would literally not be able to see the screen and I would not be able to even like drive my car. Hey, Jennifer Benton. Oh my gosh, two days in a row. I feel so excited right now. I'm just like, just like a freaking lit up. So if I did not have my contacts in, I would not be able to drive. Like in eighth grade, I went to the eye doctor and this was the first time I was told this. Like if I was not, if I didn't have corrective lenses or my glasses on, then I wouldn't be able to drive. Like the woman told me, you wouldn't be able to have a driver's license which in eighth grade, that was pretty devastating for me to hear because that's what every kid's dream is, is to turn 16, get your license, get a car, take a sip of some tea. I still have like a little bit of um, residual from my flu that I had last week or two weeks ago. But so here's the thing, like I remember the day driving home when my mom was driving home from me getting contacts for the first time. And literally I was looking around like, <gasps> Oh my gosh, those trees have leaves. The road has like these rocks in it. Like I felt like literally this whole new world was open up to me. Like all of a sudden I could see there was things out there that I didn't even know. Like literally there was flowers everywhere and I didn't even know that there was all these beautiful flowers because I didn't have the vision. I didn't have the ability to see it, right? So how many of us out there are like I was before I got my corrective lenses, before I got my vision. How many of us are out there in the world not even realizing that there's this whole realm of possibility? Like there are all of these beautiful flowers out there. There are like, there's sunshine, there's flowers, there's all these amazing things happening right in front of us. But because we don't have the vision, we don't have the lenses to see. We don't have the correct lens to view the world in. We don't have the vision for 2020. We don't have the vision for our lives. We're not seeing these things. Like we're literally blind to seeing all of these amazing possibilities because we're limited by our mindset. We're limited by our false beliefs. We're limited by the thinking that is keeping us stuck right? And here's the thing. If that's working for you, I, I, I'm not making you wrong. Don't hear me in that. Like 
if that's working for you, if you're limiting beliefs and not being able to see your vision and not being able to see all these amazing things that are just like there for you, if that's working for you, then great, you know, continue in that way. And I remember, you know, there's times when I kept myself so freaking small. Thank you for the hearts. Oh, hey, Megan. Hi. Sorry, I didn't say hi earlier. Facebook was not telling me who was on here. But now I see you. I see you, my love. So when we have vision and we can see, then the whole world, the realm of possibilities opens up. I remember, and you guys, this is not even very long ago. Like I remember when I would play, you guys have to see this, my little puppy. Hi, Wilbur. Oh, he loves to be on the lives. Let's make Wilbur famous. <laughs> so I remember like not even that long ago when I was playing so freaking small because I didn't have the vision. <gasps> Jay, hi. Oh my gosh. You got to see my puppy here, Jay. <laughs> my BFF forever, Jay, who is going to be life doing life-changing things with me. I get to be alongside of Jay to do life-changing things. And we already have. Um, yes, my heart, my heart, my heart, my heart is open up. And I love you so very much. Um, so you know exactly what I'm talking about here in vision. Like when you don't have a vision and you play so small because I love you, by the way. <laughs> Thank you for the hearts. Oh my gosh. So when you're playing small, like you don't have the vision for your life. You may not be able to see because you don't have the right lenses to view your life and view the world. What ends up happening is you play small. Like you know, I remember holding back because people in my life who didn't understand my vision and didn't understand my dreams and didn't understand what I was about and the fact that I could get so excited and so lit up and so passionate. So I would play small. I literally held myself back because I had been told by people who wanted to me to keep me small that I was too much. Right? I was told by people that I was too much. So I held back. I played small and I kept myself in this place that was, sorry guys, my dog keeps like wanting me to pet him. So I kept myself in this place that was small because I was too afraid that I was intimidating other people. Do you guys understand how crazy that is? Like today, that seems insane to me. At the time, it made sense. And to some of you guys, you might be in that place and that's okay. Like, let's just recognize it. Let's just like align with that vision and recognize the fact that some of us might be playing small because we're too afraid that other people are going to be intimidated or other people are going to be offended or that other people can't handle us. Here's the thing. Those are not your people. Those are not your people, right? If you, you've been following me for a while, you know that 80% of people aren't going to give a crap about you one way or another. They're just, in, they're complacent. They're indifferent. They don't care. They'll see your stuff and they'll literally just scroll through it. They'll see what you're doing in your business and they won't care. They will literally just pass you by and like not even give two cents, right? They won't even care. They're neutral. They might, you know, like they're not even going to give a crap about any of your stuff. 10% of people are not going to like you. Just right off the top, know this know this because 10% of people out there aren't going to like you because you remind them of your their ex-girlfriend. You remind them of their mom. You remind them of the girl in eighth grade that rejected them. Like whatever it is, 10% of people just aren't going to like you. But the other 10%, these are your people. This is your tribe. They're going to love you. They're going to be your raving fans. They're going to be in your corner. They're going to watch your lives. They're going to give you hearts. They're going to do all of these things. And they're going to like land with your message. Those are the people that matter. Those 10% of people who are going to align with your vision, who are going to, you know, root you on and be there right alongside with you. Those are the people that are right there waiting for you. They are waiting for you to step out in your leadership. They're waiting for you to step out in your greatness and to stop playing small. 10% of people in the world are waiting for you. Guys, when you, you have that vision, when you can make that shift and realize that like whatever it is you're up to in the world 
is so much bigger than you. Because people are waiting for you to step out into your greatness, to show up in the world and to light the path for them. Think about that. People are waiting for you. That to me tells me that like, if we're playing small, if we're holding back, if we're in those same excuses that, you know, I would go all in on my business, but you know, today I don't feel like it. I'm depressed. I'm, I don't feel like showing up. I don't um, want to invest the money to better my business. I don't want to invest the money to, um, you know, align with a coach that's going to get me to the next level. Like, I don't want to be inconvenienced and have to do things in my schedule that I don't want to do. You know, if, if you, I'm going to be honest right now. If you really think that you, if you go out and you make a business page and you get a business license that then people are going to show up, then someone is lying to you. Someone is lying to you. It takes vision. It takes determination. It takes grit. And it takes the attitude of no matter what, no matter what, this is going to work out no matter what, when it gets hard, when people are opposing you, when people are standing there saying, she can't do that. Guys, this is happening to me in my life right now in real time. I have people literally saying that I can't do the things I'm doing. And I'm like just sitting here like doing circles around these people who are telling me I can't do the things that I'm doing. And I'm going to be honest with you. A lot of these people aren't even the people in my circle. They're, they're not the people in my circle. They're not the people in my circle. They're people who, because of their limiting beliefs, don't understand that a woman can stand in her power and do amazing things. They don't understand that a woman can have an opinion and be, um, you know, be a powerhouse and be a leader. And you guys, that's not, that's not my problem. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. That's not my problem. Because the, the problems I have in my life, the things I have in my life are on a lot bigger scale. It's more of like the things I worry about is, oh my gosh, I have a responsibility in the world today. I have a responsibility to show up and actually live out what I teach. I have a responsibility to not just tell you guys to live your vision, but to actually go out and live mine. Because how can I teach something I'm not doing? That's an integrity issue, right? How can I teach you guys to be bold and courageous and audacious and go after your dreams no matter what if I'm not living that out right now in real time, which you guys, I am painfully, painfully living that out in real time, like going through my stuff, um, facing my stuff, facing the things as they come up, facing the things in my life that aren't working, you know, the control, the analyzing, the um, needing to know for, you know, the, the, the way that I used to operate where like I had to know all the details and I had to like make sure everything worked and was convenient for me and fit into my schedule and like make sure that I knew where the money was going to come from before I jumped or, you know, making sure that I knew all of the details before I went after these opportunities that are coming my way that are so freaking amazing, you guys. Like if you look at my calendar right now, my calendar is booked with amazing clients and speaking opportunities, like people seeking me out, asking me to speak for them. You guys, the reality is like, I'm a highly sought after speaker right now in real time. And you guys, this blows my mind. And here's where my default, like controlling behavior wants to go. Like, oh, you know, this is really inconvenient because I have so many speaking engagements. <laughs> like you guys, this sounds ridiculous when I talk about it, but like, this is the reality. Like, my calendar right now, honestly, like it's not the convenient um, take a week off a month way that I would like it to be. Honestly, like I need to manage that so that that's my, my priority again. Because as a business owner and a CEO where I'm getting a ton, like my, I get a lot of stuff, you know, a lot of stuff on my plate and I get to manage my mind around that and I get to work it out. And I get to work out the fact that I'm going to be gone for an entire month in Australia doing this amazing opportunity, you know, speaking with powerhouse women on a stage 
with um, celebrity speakers and all these things. And like my mind wants to like go to this place like, well, how's everything going to work? It's not convenient for me to be on a plane for two days on the way there because I lose. I'm on a plane for 12 hours, but really I lose two days because of I'm traveling into the future. You know what I mean? Like I'm traveling into the future. Right. But I get to celebrate these things and I get to share these things with you and I get to share with you guys how I got there because it's been less than two years. You guys like understand this. It's been less than two years since God gave me the vision to rebrand my business and go back in. And I was still in the corporate world. I was making a crap ton of money as a corporate sales director and it didn't make sense for me to start speaking. It didn't make sense for me to rebrand this business and go after it. You guys, it didn't make sense to anybody, especially myself. But here's the thing. Here's the key to success, to having vision. You go for it even when it doesn't make sense. Guys, I can't, I'm not going to lie to you. I've had sleepless nights because I've invested over $20,000 in 2019 into my personal development, into my business, into business coaching, into traveling, into seminars, like over $20,000. And I had sleepless nights wondering, you know, okay, yeah, I'm successful now, but is it going to go away? Like worrying that the money was going to stop worrying that somehow someone was going to find out that I was, you know, a fraud and that it was all going to end. Like it was all going to go away. Like these are the things guys, but it's all in having the vision. It's all in keeping my eyes. And I keep thinking about like, you know, when Peter was in the storm and he was on the boat and Jesus called him out and said, you know, keep your eyes on me, keep your eyes on me and not the storm around you. Because when you have your eyes on the storm, when you have your vision on how, why things aren't going to work or how, you know, you're not going to be able to figure out the money or you're not gonna be able to invest in a program or you're not gonna be able to invest in the right coach that's going to get you to where you want to be. And you keep yourself playing small because of your excuses that it's inconvenient, that um, it's going to be uncomfortable, that you might actually be seen, that you might actually be called out into a better version of yourself, which is scary. I know. I am, I was at a good version of myself, and then I stepped into this leadership program that is very much right now in real time calling me out to a whole new level that is really freaking uncomfortable because I'm having to let go of ideas that I thought I was. I'm having to let go of things that I thought were working for me that were actually keeping me separate from my my big vision, my big goals, my big dreams. Guys, so this is the reality. I'm calling you forward and someone's at my door, so my dog's freaking out. Gotta love Facebook Live. Um, so I'm calling you forward right here, right now. Step in your vision. What is it going to cost you? <laughs> I'm trying to be serious with you guys and my dog's freaking out because a package just got delivered like real life right this is the life of an entrepreneur so I'm calling you forward what is it going to cost you to go after your vision 100% fully committed and more importantly what is it costing you to stay small what is it costing you the impact that you could create in other people's lives because believe me that's what it costs me it cost me um, speaking up and holding space for people that I knew had bigger vision, had bigger greatness, had bigger potential in their lives. It cost me, um, you know, lo- looking good. Like I thought I was looking good by playing small and being safe and not, you know, holding people to their, their vision. So what is it costing you to stay in this place? And if you're ready to move forward, like I talked about at the beginning of this, this is not a sales pitch. I always feel uncomfortable saying these things. Hey, Carol. Oh, my gosh. Hey, girlfriend. Speaking of rock stars. Oh, my goodness. Miss Carol Feely in the house. Whoop So more importantly, what is it costing you? And if you're ready, if you're ready to go all in, join me. Join me on the Miracle Makers Cruise. If you want to go to Australia, let's hang out. Let's do this. Let's rally. If you want to build your business and find out what your vision is, if you, you know, whatever that is, like 
find out what your vision is, find out what's going to drive you into 2020, what's going to create your profitable, sustainable, amazing business that is built on your passions, that lights you up, that gets you so fired up that you're going to go out there and you're going to change the world and you're going to conquer the world and you're going to make a difference. You are going to make a difference in so many people's life. If you're ready for that, join me in my mastermind. It's still open. We're going to be running until November. So it's eight months long because at the end of November, we take December off because we all know how crazy it is in December. Like we're not even going to try and like, I know you're busy. I know you're busy. That's why this mastermind works. It is customized for the busy woman because I know you're busy. My clients are just like me, right? You guys, there's no difference between you and me. No difference. So join in my mastermind. It's amazing. It's impactful. It is going to change the way you do your business. It's going to change the way you look at your business. It's going to shift you from chasing the money and being desperate to realizing that this is your your passion, your purpose. And when you sell from that place, it's not even selling. It becomes so easy. And I'm going to teach you guys all those things. I teach the, the women I don't hold back. You guys know me. I don't hold back. I share my gifts. I share my talents. And I'm going to share with the amazing women who sign up for this pro, for the um, mastermind group. I'm going to share with you all of the things. So message me. Let me know if you're interested. I love you guys. Go out there. Chase after your vision. I would love to hear what your vision is. Let's get on a call. Um, I always love to create space to jump on a call with you guys and, and chat with you. You know, If you don't know what your vision is, let's talk. Let's find that out. Because there's nothing worse than a m- amazing, powerful, s- driven woman who's not living 100% in her purpose, her dreams, and her vision. I've been that woman. I know how what it's like. And so now it is my purpose and my passion to help other women find theirs and operate from that place where they are so lit up, so fired up, and so ready to do whatever it takes to chase their dreams, to go after their dreams, and to create impact in the world. I love you guys so much. Thank you for tuning in. Um, I'm going to jump off because I have someone coming over in just a little bit, in about 15 minutes, and I need to prepare. So I love you guys. Let me know what was your takeaways. What did you like about this? What what was your aha moments? Um you know, are you interested in the mastermind? And more, most importantly, what is your vision? What are you committed to creating? I love you guys so much. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome, Jay. I love you. Love you. Thanks, Jen. Carol, love you, girl. Love you guys. Bye.